Hey everyone, welcome back to the Why Ryerson page. It's your girl Sonia here and today I am breaking down everything you need to know about Ryerson because I decided that it was time to do a Ryerson Q&A video answering all the questions that you have about online learning, my first year experience, the journalism program, Ryerson, residence, campus, what Toronto's like and everything in between. I was doing a little bit of reflecting this past year and I was thinking about where I was exactly a year ago. And it's crazy to me to think about this, but exactly a year ago, this time I had just accepted my offering to Ryerson and I was feeling a lot, a lot of emotions. And I know this time is a really, really weird way to explore universities. We're in a pandemic, a lot of us are doing online learning, and to be honest, it, it's weird. And I really wanna help ease that comfort. If you're having any nerves, if you're feeling excited, scared, worried, have questions, confused, if you're feeling all of those emotions, I really just wanna be here to help support you and make that process and that feeling a little bit more smoother. So without further ado, let's get started. First question is all about how my online school experience was. And to be quite honest with you, I was a skeptic. I did not know if I was gonna like online school because I had just transitioned to online learning when I was in grade 12, when March hit and everyone had to be sent home. And I didn't really love online learning, but I did like having the control of feeling independent and being able to do things on my own time. With that being said, now being in university and being in the journalism program specifically, I actually really like it. Now, don't get me wrong, there are so many elements to online learning that I don't love, meaning that I wish I could be out and about interviewing people physically um, and just being able to connect with my friends and my teachers in a face-to-face -face setting. I've been able to cover a protest. I've got to cover Black Friday shopping at the mall. So I've still had the abilities to grow as a journalist. Also, I really like having the luxury of being able to do things on my own time. So we'll have pre-reported lectures and it's nice that I can plan out my day accordingly to how I want to. And of course, the fact that I don't have to worry about commuting is another really big thing for me. I have so much time now that I can spend at home working on personal projects rather than having to spend about four hours of my day commuting to and from Toronto. So that is definitely a big plus. Overall, for me, my online learning experience has been pretty good. And I honestly think it's because I went into first year with a really, really positive attitude. I think I was so bummed out with the fact that, you know, I wasn't gonna be able to go on residence. I wasn't gonna be able to attend orientation events, frosh, all of this in person and I was so eager to do all of those things. Instead of going into school with a negative attitude, I really made sure to stay positive and I think that positive attitude really helped me make the most of my experience as a first year student. Another big question was how does online school work, which I think is a very, very valid question to ask because I had no idea how it was going to work until I actually became a student. So essentially with online learning, you have a system called D2L, which is your number one way to access all of your classes that you enroll in. It's how you stay connected with your professors and sometimes even your classmates. As well, if you have a midterm or exam or you need to submit assignments, D2L is your system of how you can do all of those things. Now, in terms of how you're receiving all of the course content, it can either be done through asynchronous learning or synchronous learning. So asynchronous learning means it's offline, and that usually means it's a pre-recorded lecture or PowerPoint. So you basically can do it on your own time and your teacher will post the videos weekly or it could be synchronous learning, meaning it's a live Zoom class. So you have to log in and then you watch the video live. Um, and I really like both elements to online learning, having the ability to have asynchronous and synchronous. I've noticed that some professors will do live classes and some won't. And I really like having the combination of the two because live classes gives me that motivation to get out of bed, turn on my Zoom camera, and having that luxury to do my pre-recorded lectures on my own time is really helpful. Everyone's gonna have a different experience when it comes to the journalism program. Personally, for me, I'm gonna say, yeah, it is hard. And I think any program you do is gonna be difficult. There's always gonna be work that you're gonna have to put in. I think the most challenging part is that you're learning a whole new style of writing. Say goodbye to essays because we write news stories now. That sounded a lot cooler in my head, but I don't think that sounded really cool. But the truth is we don't write essays. We write news stories and we learn things like how to write a lead, a nut graph. And these are probably things you've never heard before, but I think that's kind of the most challenging part, learning something new, because when you are learning something new, it can be scary, but it's also very much exciting. And the next big thing about the program is deadlines. So I recently did a court reporting assignment where I was covering a legal case and I had three hours to complete it. And I was analyzing over a 30 page document. So let me tell you, it was a very intense time frame, but I kind of, 
absolutely, I kind of loved it. I love the adrenaline rush of being in that stress chaos mode and having to write a story really, really quick, but having to make sure it's a good story. And the bonus is, is that you're doing most of your assignments within the class time. So you don't have much homework afterwards. And it gives you time to focus on other classes like your electives. I think there's a lot of opportunities that students are able to have access to. In fact, there's a bunch of student publications that are around campus that students can write for. I've been able to write for Her Campus Ryerson, which is off of Her Campus, an online magazine platform, as well as the fact that right in third year and fourth year, there's a lot of internship opportunities for students to work with CBC, Global News, The Morning Show, ET Canada, as well as working in PR companies or marketing companies as well. So there's a lot of opportunities for students. And the best part is, so a lot of internship opportunities that are internal just exclusively for Ryerson students in the program. So that kind of gives you a competitive edge and advantage as well. I was looking super forward to answering this question because I love Ryerson's campus. I just felt like this was a place that I needed to be and I had to be and I didn't know how I was going to get here. I didn't know what program I was going to do, but I just knew this was the environment that I knew I wanted to be a part of. The reason why I love it is because it is in the city. I really love how there's this merge of this university campus, this sense of belonging with other students, but then if you turn the other way, it's like people in suits working their day-to-day -day jobs and you have that mix of just living in the city but also being able to attend school, which I love. And this may sound kind of dumb or cliche, but every time I'm in the city just walking around with my headphones in and I look around, I just feel very much inspired. So first off, I feel like for me personally, if I didn't like the program, there was no reason for me to even think about the university. The program is what I'm here for and it's what I'm spending my most energy on. So I had to make sure I was absolutely in love with it. Big myth that I even fell for is that journalism will only allow you to have careers within the journalism field. Completely untrue, so untrue, so untrue, so untrue. You can get so many jobs from different industries with a journalism degree because the program teaches you transferable skills that can be used in a multitude of ways. So that's a really big thing that was a huge factor for me. And I knew instantly the program was the right fit. Um, and on that note, why I picked Ryerson, the program, and it definitely made it a lot more easier knowing that it was in the city. I got a few questions about residents and to be quite honest with you, I am really sad to tell you this because it makes me sad, but I didn't get to go live on residence and I'm really bummed about that. But I'm hoping that in fourth year I can live off campus and explore the city and live in downtown while being a student. On that note, Jenna, who is a student ambassador here and she's in her second year in the creative industries program, she went on residence in her first year and she's currently living off campus in her second year. So it only made sense to ask her a few questions. So I'm gonna pass it off to Jenna because she is gonna be a lot more helpful in this department. So I'm sending it off to Jenna. Hi everyone, my name is Jenna. I'm a second year creative entry student here at Ryerson. And last year I lived in residence. It was a super awesome experience and I just would really recommend it to anybody who was able to do it. One tip I have for anybody looking to residence is to make sure to research the buildings before you pick which one you wanna live in. All of them are awesome, but all of them are different. So just think about what kind of experience you want. Like if you want a single room, if you want roommates, if you want to live in a suite like kind of room, if you want an apartment, that's another thing you have to think of. Yes, 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 yes. It was crazy hard and I'm not gonna have to sugarcoat that. But it wasn't impossible because I have made friends and I'm really, really proud of myself for that. So essentially, how did I make friends? I joined the Y Rise and Facebook accepted page for my graduating year. It was my hub to be connected and join group chats. The biggest way I personally made friends was through my breakout rooms during Zoom classes, working on assignments, because over time when you're working on assignment, you naturally talk to your partners and you build conversation. And through that, I was able to form some friendships that have lasted me this entire year. So I can confirm it is possible to make friends. We have something called story days where in short you have seven hours to write, report, interview, do a whole story. I was able to cover a protest, I covered Black Friday shopping at the mall and it was super chaotic but a lot of fun. I think my biggest accomplishment or favorite memory was, was being able to go on my second story day doing streeters for the first time by myself, safely interviewing a police officer. He was on the street in Young Dundas Square and I literally went up to him. I said, hey, I'm a student journalist, I'm doing the story on this, do you have a few moments to talk? 
and he said yes and he was able to answer my questions. In that moment, I, I was stepped out of my comfort zone and the nerves that I had instantly went away because I felt like I was doing something that I really loved. So interviewing a police officer and being able to cover stories like a protest, Black Friday shopping, being able to go out into these events have really been just a whole adrenaline rush and it really gets me going and just makes me so excited for like the future and what's in store for the next few years. All right, everyone, that is the end of today's video. Hopefully I was helpful in answering your questions and just helping ease any nerves that you may have about Ryerson, making friends, online learning, the journalism program. Hopefully this got you a bit more pumped about coming to Ryerson or if you're thinking about Ryerson, this gave you a bit more information. Anyways, that is it for me today. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you all very soon. Bye everyone.